Hey everybody, Steve here. Uh, today I am attempting to make basically an aerator for our pond. If you uh, have watched any of my videos, and especially if you've watched maybe the last two or three videos, you'll know that we suffered a fish kill here on our little country pond this past weekend. There was a lot, of, a lot of reasons why you might suffer a fish pond. In today's video, I'm going to try to make an, a, an aerator that will aerate the water, give the water oxygen. So if, uh, if you have a pond, this may interest you. If you don't, you know, uh, hopefully you'll still watch it. But what I've done is, is I'm putting together some things that I think will work. As of right now, as of this moment, before I even get all this stuff together to test it in the pond, I, ha I don't have a clue if what I'm doing today is going to work. I know I spent a good bit of money. I've got it all laid out here, and I'm getting ready to show you what I'm going to do. But what this is, is I'm trying to build myself a kit. So when I have problems like this in the future, I'll be able to pull out my little pond aeration kit and hopefully stop the problem of a fish kill, you know, before it happens or as it's happening and try to at least lessen the effect. So let me show you what I'm putting together and what I'm trying to build and let's hope that this thing's gonna work. Okay, here's the concept. What I've done is I have bought, this is a one half horsepower sump pump. Um, this thing pumps around 7,000 gallons per hour. Uh, what I am hoping is to submerge this sump pump into the pond so it can recirculate the pond water, spray it out, and the shower of water hitting the pond will help aerate the pond. Now, it's got a two inch outlet to where the water pumps, and what I've done is I've bought basically a fire hose. This is a 25 foot, and it looks like a fire hose. This was about around $50, and by the way, the sump pump at Northern Hydraulics, or Northern Tool, maybe they call it Northern Tool now, this was about $250. I also bought a fireman's nozzle. Now, what I want to do here is regulate the spray coming out of the sump pump. And the little uh, threaded piece right here, this is basically called a two inch nipple. It will make the connection between the fire hose and the fire nozzle. And I had to actually go to a plumbing supply to get that two inch nipple. Cost four bucks. So right now, the next part of the equation is just basically a trash can from Lowe's Home Depot. And uh, not Lowe's Home Depot, but um, Lowe's Home Improvement, I meant to say. And what I'm gonna do, let me move my tripod out of the way. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna set the submersible pump inside the trash can. I'm gonna cut some holes to allow the pond water in and just take a pocket knife and cut some holes because I don't want to sit my sump pump directly down into the water and the mud. I'm going to set the trash can with a sump pump in it. So that's the, that's the basic setup. And let's get everything working and see if it'll work. Keep your fingers crossed for me because I need the help. Okay, I have completed the construction of my redneck pond aerator emergency southern style uh, i've got it running right behind me in the pond it seems to be working great i've i've run it now for about two days um, the only the only thing that i did is i took the fireman's nozzle off i'm just letting the stream of water pour out of the two inch fire hose and letting that hit the water hopefully that's that's gushing up creating aeration and oxygen in the water it's pulling a lot of water from the pond. So this is really all that I can do in an emergency situation. Works fine. Uh, I'm happy that I did it. You know, if you have a pond, it may be something 
that you want to consider having on a standby basis for an emergency situation if you ever suffer a fish kill like we did. Okay, here is my emergency redneck pond aerator. Southern style, baby. Seems to be working great. It's been running for two days now, non-stop. The sump pump is inside that trash can. 25 foot fire hose going to this step ladder. And I simply just have it attached with some cable ties. Just letting the water do its thing. Circulate, gush in, aerate, provide some oxygen. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless the USA.